Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, trading in yesterday's snow showers for all day sunshine today, but even with all the sun, you know, temperatures still struggling. We should be around 53. The best we could do is 45 in Providence. The high temps today, 40 in Smithfield, low to mid 40s along the South Shore. Westerly made it up to 47. We'll nudge 50 briefly tomorrow afternoon, so a little better and more sunshine too. Pictures down in Newport skies are clear that includes in Providence as well with starry skies. Very dry air in place. Relative humidity at 54%. Temperature below freezing, but uh, some outlying areas are already down into the uh, mid and upper 20s. Uh, temperature now coming in at 32. Most of us should get down to at least 25 overnight into early tomorrow morning. So chilly nights ahead, though a mild uh, uh, trend is ahead for the next several days and through the end of the week. Now we're not talking 60s and 70s, but we've got a couple of chances of seeing temperatures 50s and mid and upper 50s as well. Uh, Easter weekend. Looking okay. We'll show you that in the seven day future cast. Meanwhile, threat tracker now through tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, green, no high impact weather, no big storms, no nor'easters. Though we do have some precipitation, just scattered light rain showers um, for both Wednesday and Thursday, but nothing really widespread or heavy. In fact, Doppler radar locally and even across the uh, northeast right now, crystal clear skies, not a cloud or a raindrop or a snowflake to be found. Meanwhile, there is moisture across uh, the Midwest. High pressure in control, keeping things clear, dry and chilly right now. Some of this extra clouds and a few showers on the way for later tomorrow night into a portion of Wednesday, though at this point Wednesday doesn't look um, like a washout or a rainy day, but I wouldn't rule out a passing light rain shower. Yeah, a lot of blue on the map indicating uh, cool temps. Of course, the milder air across the central and southern plains. Get a little bit of that coming up over the next uh, several afternoons, but the nights are still chilly. Here's Futurecast. Just watch the uh, time bar right up in here. Take you through the overnight, and we'll stop things at about 7 o'clock in the morning, heading out to school, heading out to work. Clear skies, upper 20s to low 30s. Now, a lot of sunshine all day long. Temperatures do respond. We we'll get up into the upper 40s to briefly near 50. Notice 3 o'clock in the afternoon, a lot of sun. You see the clouds off to our west not getting in here until probably um, late day or early evening. And certainly tomorrow night, mainly cloudy skies and staying dry. Maybe some sprinkles after midnight. Temps in the mid 30s. So chilly start tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s. And then during the afternoon, uh, sunshine getting to work. Should get temperatures up into the upper 40s to briefly near 50 by around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Just a couple of isolated showers, both Wednesday and Thursday. There's Easter weekend. Right now, the early call on Easter Sunday is for sunshine. Chilly in the morning, better in the afternoon with temperatures reaching the uh, lower 50s and overnight temps uh, that'll be in the uh, 20s and the 30s. So this is typical early spring weather where you get mild afternoons, but the late nights are still cold. I mean, sunny and 50 this time of year for tomorrow isn't really too bad. It's not 70, but it's better than yesterday. So all the snow going to melt so the kids can go, you know, Easter egg hunting? We should be good Just by hide then. hide the eggs in the snow. snow. I'm convinced huh? the only place that has snow right now is your My house. My house <laughs> could be true. And Probably Foster. Right. And Foster. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Anthony. We have more coverage you can